case you ever wondered how a Cambridge paving stone is made, today Cambridge pavers will show you how. We start off with the raw materials you see behind me. Cambridge uses the highest quality of raw materials. Each material is a specified sieve that has been engineered by us. Every one of our raw materials, sand and stone, is approved by New York State Department of Transportation, which has the highest test criteria in the United States and Canada. Cambridge doesn't take any shortcuts when manufacturing their product. Our mix design stays constant from paver to paver all day long. From the point of delivery of our raw materials, our sand, our aggregate, and our cement, the next step is getting the materials inside the plant for manufacturing. As far as the sand in the aggregate, a bucket loader will pick up about five yards of sand or stone at a time and load the bucket loader hopper. That sand will come down through the hopper and be conveyed up that conveyor belt inside the plant into designated hoppers that hold about 80 to 100 tons of aggregate each. As far as the cement, a truck pulls a tank of 24 tons of Portland Type 1 cement, hooks up to a blower, and blows the cement into the silos behind me. From there, we have all our raw materials inside the plant, and now we can move in to see the actual operation. We're now inside the Cambridge manufacturing plant, specifically the batching side of the plant. Part of what makes Cambridge unique is our manufacturing process in the batch plant. Using state-of-the-art software, each of our raw materials are precisely measured out, conveyed, and enter the mixer. The aggregates, sand and stone, the cement, the water, the admix come together in the mixer and mix for about a three minute cycle. We have our base mix, the bottom of the stone, made in one mixer, and the face mix, the Armatech, the top surface, three eighths of an inch of the stone, made in a separate mixer. That's what makes Cambridge different to all of the products not producing with Armatech. This is our commitment to you, our double capital investment of our equipment. Now that we've just seen the batching and mixing process of Cambridge's plant, it's time to show you how we make a paver. The concrete gets brought up to the machine. The first thing that gets done is the concrete is measured for moisture. That's where we check to make sure the water cement ratio is perfect. Once that's established, the machine will be turned on. The process you will see is how a Cambridge paving stone with Armatech will be made. When the machine turns on, you're gonna see the base feed box come over the mold and fill the mold with concrete. Then the head of the machine will come down and make room for the face mix, the Armatech. The face feed box will come out over the mold, fill it up, and then the tamp bread will come down for final compression, which is about three seconds. The layer then will come out of the machine be checked for weight, density, and also be checked for height, both manually and by a laser. The product will then enter a rack, which it will stay in cure for 24 hours. Every stone is checked by two sets of eyes and two sets of hands to ensure the highest quality paver gets to you, the customer. After each layer is checked, and any stone imperfections is thrown away. The layers move down the conveyor line. They're clamped, stacked, and then banded with steel banding with our Cambridge paper top sheet over it. These pavers are now ready to go outside, be loaded on a truck, to get to you guys. We're here at the final step of Cambridge's manufacturing process. You've seen everything from raw materials to finished goods. The next time you will see this product is at your nearest authorized Cambridge dealership. I hope you enjoyed the plant tour today. Thank you very much for your continued loyalty. Cambridge, baby stones with Armitage.